So ever since I've been learning how to tailor, I've been drafting my patterns using Adobe Illustrator here on my computer, which is fine. I mean, for an OCD guy like me, that's great. But I want to teach people how to draft. And that means I can't be software dependent. Someone could say, well, I don't have that piece of software, so your draft, your, your tutorial doesn't even really do anything for me. So I'm going to draft using a sheet of paper my handy dandy handcrafted Taylor in Square, that's a reproduction of the 1907 Lufkin Taylor in Square, available on Brass and Warren Uniform People and Tailoring Shops Etsy store. And I'm going to see if I can actually draft a pattern. Can the rat do it? So here's what we ended up with. Um, it was actually pretty darned easy. I mean, considering that I have never used a tailoring square before, and I had to look at the different, you know, like two thirds and one thirds, one sixth and fourths and everything. Um, it actually was pretty intuitive. In fact, there was a couple of things I, I noticed that you can do with a tailoring square that you can't do with Illustrator, and vice versa, which I'll get into later. But uh, it came out pretty pretty precise. Um, I used the 1936 drafting system from Modern Tailor Outfitter and Clothier, um, and which is pretty close to a 19th century uh, frock pattern. Uh, system's a little bit different in coming out with the calculations, but anyway. Um, there was a couple of mistakes that I found out on my pattern while I was, uh, on my instructions while I was making it, so I'll, I'll fix those up in, on my newest revision. Um, the, the, the hardest part was coming up with the side body panel, actually, um, because not only do I have to use uh, fractions of, of uh, the waist surplus, which is in the front, but also uh, the curves were a little bit interesting to do freehand. In Illustrator, I'm able to get the pin tool and move the, the arc back and forth and pivot it and get it precise, but here I had to like actually you know draw it. So, um, but honestly, it was really easy. It took about an hour and a half, but that's okay. I mean, this is my first time. It came out. The I made one small mistake here, um, which I was able to rub out pretty easily. I put number uh, point number 19 a little bit too far back. Uh, other than that, pretty straightforward. So, yeah, I'd say it's a success. I'd say it's a success. That's how I'm supposed to say these words when I'm talking on... Uh, video. Um, and I noticed I have a tendency of blinking my eye a lot. I'm wondering if that's because I need glasses. But Anyway, so yeah, uh, it was snowing outside earlier. 
And I think I'm just rambling now. I'm not even talking about what I'm supposed to be talking about anymore. So I'm just going to shut up. But I'm not shutting up because I have the camera right in front of me. I just keep on, you know, it's, it's almost like, um, you know, that uh, writing exercise when you just start spouting out the first thing that comes up to your mind. And wow, it's a really nice view out there. Okay, I, um, I think I need something to eat. I'm running on too much caffeine.